We have some major breaking news as Matt Benedetto has been disqualified from the NASCAR Xfinity Series race at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. What's going on guys, it's Daniel and welcome back to your video. As I just said a second ago, we got some pretty major breaking news as it has just been announced that Matt Benedetto has been disqualified from the NASCAR Xfinity Series race at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Matt Benedetto crossed the line in 17th place, finishing inside the top 20 for the second consecutive week in a row. Now, why was Matt Benedetto disqualified? Well, according to Bob Pockers, Benedetto DQ from 17th for having three loose lugs all in the right rear of the car. This is the second lug nut violation that we've seen so far this year. The other one being Corey Heim, who actually crossed the line in second at Charlotte, but because he had three loose lug nuts around the car, he got disqualified for that. That is very unfortunate for Matt Benedetto, who had a fantastic run going. Once again, another top 20 run. And to get disqualified really, really sucks, especially now because it's going to affect him in the owner's points because that 38 team, really is not in the best position in the owner's points. I know Matt Benedetto has been doing a lot better, but he just lost a lot of points. He had a great run going today. I know he had issues on restarts, but to not get the points that I think he deserved because the crew didn't do their job is very unfortunate. You do have to remember that Viking Motorsports, they are technically a new organization. So you're going to make a lot of mistakes. But again, I feel like with this situation, I, I just wonder maybe if we could change the rules on the Lunas. I get why they have the rule. It makes a lot of sense. But at the same time, three Lunas should not disqualify you. I feel like we probably should change the lug nut rule. Granted, in the Cup Series, if you have a lug nut violation, you're just, your tire's just going to go off completely because you only have one lug nut on the car. I know NASCAR has not had any discussions about going to a single lug nut, but that is tough for Matt Benedetto, a driver who I think has been doing a solid job with Viking this year. He's at, five, I think, what, five or six top 20s overall, and to get a lug nut violation is definitely very, very unfortunate. I don't expect him to appeal it. They could appeal it if they want to because this is a smaller organization, but I don't expect to appeal it. We haven't seen a London violation in a cup in a while. Last time that happened was for Chase Elliott back in 2021 at, at Nashville when he actually got a stage win and actually crossed line, I think, inside the top 10, but got a penalty for that. But this is a really huge duel for a small team like this. It's unfortunate Matt Benedetto, Benedetto got a London violation and moves some drivers up. SVG moves up to 18, Venetia cross line 19. He finishes 18, but a couple other drivers like Haley Deegan move up positions. And also, I think we see Justin Bosling or come across line and hit from his debut in 22nd position. In other news in regards to inspection, no other driver changed. Chris Abel is the winner. He passed inspection with flying colors, so no issues there. He gets his fourth win. Carson Quaffle is credited with a fifth place finish. He had a fantastic run today, but going back to Matt Benedetto, very unfortunate news. He has sadly been disqualified for Lundnet being loose on his car. So, that is going to be for today's special breaking news report. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on. So, if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support my page as well. Let's go to all that and comment your thoughts below on today's video. How do you feel about the penalty that Matt Benedetto has received? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, we're going to have, hopefully, the NASCAR Cup Series race review from New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Talk about drivers like Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, Chase Selly, and, of course, Kyle, a couple of drivers like Bubba Wallace as well. I'll talk about other drivers like Kurt Busch and maybe Carl Lebers in the future. And we'll have a lot of great content dropping on this channel the corner to the next couple days. If the race doesn't happen, well, we have the race review on Monday, though the weather has been improving a little bit. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.